why are you gawking at my hairdo? Don't tell me you've got your eye on my original Marushu Naoki hairpin. Can you believe it, Shai? Don't believe. Just know. The warriors of light see with the power of love. Just who does she think she is? Hiroyoshi Superfrog's arch enemy Soki Nuroshi Maya Yoki Hagatsu? Down with the dark forces! Trust in the elf magic of the glitter dust. Exactly. Everyone knows that a real Shibuya girl will only part with her hairpin if it's a real emergency. And only if facing death. Muroshi Sparkle! Mystical spirit of the wolf! Mystical spirit of the wolf! Kamanukri! Shing! And anyway, what even makes you think we'll let you have any of our personal things? You haven't launched any radical paramilitary campaigns or done anything to help destroy the state. We can't let the dark forces win! Plus, you've never helped us destroy the school. Does being warriors of the light really mean we have to destroy the school? It seems a little too hardcore to me. But Riot Girl does it too! On page 31 in volume 453, she puts one of Nagayuzu's detonators in the teacher's lounge when the dark forces kidnap Musushi Rainbow. Shibuya is cool! Miyarushi Sparkle! Oh. Shibuya Power! Shibuya Power! Shit, girl, you're so clueless about trends. Just look at how you dress. Don't you know that Shibuya and only Shibuya is hot right now? Where's your glitter? Where are your Japanese accessories? Miyorushi Sparkle! Miyorushi Sparkle! Shing! Shing! Uh, huh? Oh, man. You're really out of it, Lily. Uh-huh. Garrett was already there. Lily watched how her slippery fellow student disappeared into the chapel. After him! <sighs> Who do we have here, then? Creepy Lily. How did it go with Mother Superior? Leave her alone, Shawnee. Only if she admits that all this trouble is her fault. We're, 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 we're not getting any d dessert? That's right, Memphis. And we can't play outside anymore either. Is it asking too much to want to know why? Stop picking on her. You don't really think that Lily, of all people, has done something wrong, do you? She's just not cool enough for that. Exactly. She's such a good girl. She rakes, she cleans, she cooks. It's disgusting and dangerous because somehow it always ends in a disaster. Isn't that right, Lily? Ever since you came to the convent, it's been one strange accident after another. I uh, hardly dare get out of bed anymore. But none of this is your fault, is it? After all... You only do what you're told. I'm sure you're even running an errand for Mother Superior right now. Let's see what you've got there. Shawnee. Aha! I knew it! A recipe from Mother Superior. Well, I think I'll hold on to it for now. Let's see how Mother Superior likes having to wait for her food. And this time, our sweet Lily can face the music all by herself. <laughs> Let's go, guys. We're off. You're impossible. The mask was tightly screwed into the wall. But did that also mean that one wasn't allowed to take it? No, it only means you have to find the right tools. Something small enough to loosen the screws. Oh, 
what luck. Lily was relieved. <laughs> Lily wasn't able to loosen the screw with her bare hands. She needed a different tool. This was certainly not the ideal, and as long as Lily did... At night, Mother Superior placed her kettle over the fire here. But at this time of day, she preferred to drink her calming tea in the cafeteria. when people gossip about me behind my back. The youth of today is becoming ever more insolent. No wonder, with all the violence and foul language in the media. If I could, I'd twist your heads off one by one. Ugh. Where are my cannon jars? I need something to calm my fingers. Otherwise, something terrible might happen here. You? Before you ask for more food again, it's been hours since I held a canning jar in my hand. My hands always get a bit nervous at times like this. They break everything they touch. Children's legs, children's arms. I just can't control them. Um... Ah, uh, now I understand. You came to complain about the food, right? Well, then I have bad news for you. Children only get food from canning jars, and that's that. My hands are trained to twist the lids off. I haven't been wringing the necks of caged chickens for 20 years for nothing. Plus, I've got a court order that says I gotta open 10 jars a day. You can thank my idiotic lawyer for that. <sighs> Anything else? Do I have to explain it to you with puppets? Mealtime ended long ago. The only thing that I'm still cooking today is food for Mother Superior's cat. And the food for Mother Superior herself! Or I should say I would. But my knife disappeared. And on top of that, the stove in the cellar has gone out. So I couldn't cook anything anyway. However, the most important thing is that Mother Superior still wanted to send a recipe to me. You don't happen to have it on you, do you? Hmm. What's the matter? Why are you staring at me like that? What are you even doing here between mealtimes? I know what I'm doing here. A jail sentence commuted to 10 years community service on probation, thanks to diminished responsibility. Blah, 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 blah. Do you really want to hear this? Uh-uh. Yeah, Mother Superior didn't want to hear it either. And as long as she doesn't ask about it directly, What's this? Where had Garrett gone? The chapel didn't have a second exit. Huh. Wait, wait, wait. No, nothing. I thought I detected a resonance echo in the floor. 
And where there's a resonance echo in a floor, the hollow space can't be far. A crypt. Or a hidden pool salon for Templars with outrageously hip hairstyles. What? Your question is completely justified. What would Templars be doing in a pool salon? It's just one of the countless mysteries surrounding the Templars. Where did they come from? Where did they go? Did they get a group discount ticket for their journey? And who was their hairstylist? There is just one answer to all these questions. The Great Church Conspiracy. And we can be certain that the evidence is buried beneath these stone slabs. If only I had the right tool to dig it up. Um, find it. Uh. Shh, for a second. Oh, great. If there's just been a landslide in the Templar's subterranean crypt, then now I've missed it. How the hell are you supposed to uncover church conspiracies if you keep getting interrupted? Just the constant stream of people going to confession is getting on my nerves. But compared to you, they're as quiet as church mice. I have no idea who they are. They creep into the confession booth and only come out when it gets too noisy for them. All that will be over with as soon as I have the right tool for my excavation anyway. Uh... Shh! You're destroying the holy illuminescence of the stone slabs. And if they lose their illuminescence, they certainly won't be in the mood to reveal their secret anymore. And there's no doubt that they have a secret. I know Templar symbols where there are Templars, a secret cr If only I had the right tool to j Then, to get my hands on the- If it's one that has a neck, because there are those with a neck- Lily was impressed. Everything Frank said made sense. Um... Sorry, Lily, but I'm just not interested in small talk. All I care about are church conspiracies. There's a lot to talk about there. But unfortunately, most of it's secret. And without the right, so either you go and get me the tool I need, or you just leave. That would be fine. Lily spent a lot of time in the confession booth. Only she knew what she mumbled during those long hours. At least ever since the father who took her confessions had died of a heart attack. Ah, very good. That's exactly what I need. Now, if I only knew where to drill. But such knowledge was probably lost long ago. No one is old enough to still remember the age of the Templars. Otherwise, I'm sure I'd have long since had that church conspiracy by the scruff of its neck. Oh well, I'll just start. Damn, how am I supposed to work with all this noise? Hey! Frank! Frank! Ah, oh, what the hell? A surveillance room. That was the hard evidence that Garrett was spying for Mother Superior. The cross, Lily, otherwise, just l What's that for? If you really want to help, then decipher the symbols on the stone slabs. I think I'm drilling in the wrong spot. Don't you know anyone who's good at history? Please stay off the slabs, okay? 
You're interfering with my research. Lily, nice to see you. I hope Shawnee didn't upset you too much. He's an idiot. I think you're great, just as you are. Lily's heart skipped a beat. This might have been the nicest thing anyone ever said to her. Keep your things to yourself. I'm sure you worked very hard for them. Keep your things to I'm sure you keep your things to you. I'm uh. You seem so tense. Is something wrong? Lily would have liked to tell him her troubles, but she didn't want to give Edna away. Uh-uh. Well, if you need anything, I'm always there for you. I worry about you, you know. Uh. You seem so is something wrong. Lily Uh-uh. Well, if you need I worry about Hey, don't touch it. That's my old Boy Scout equipment. Only certified Boy Scouts are allowed to touch it. Hey, that's my, my, so, but, so. As long as no one, even if she... Um... <laughs> oh, what a rare... The hawk. But I don't mean the... I mean the... With extra ketchup, please. Uh... uh how rude of me. I forgot to tell you... Um... To tell you how it... When the pyramids were built... I was the chief flogger on the... Yes, yes, in my life I've... Unified to be... Back then I served as a carpet beater and for one of them I was even there as a re... It was very different from the year I was an interior... D build a mythical sliding... Oh yes, I was building secret... In the time... Uh, so old that all I'm good for... Cloud... I'll first I telling story. That's why I worked for a while as an exhibition piece for him. I just had to tell stories about, for example, how I used to excavate secret crypts with the or about my time as a light. Uh. Hmm. W what? <laughs> oh, but I was just go. Was it the story of how I tried to? Uh -uh. Oh, I know. I want... Uh-huh. I was particularly happy because I had... E or was I sad because all there was to eat was coconuts again? No, the coconuts were when the Trojan mayor gave me the key to the city for my... Or was my heroic valor... Wasn't I a little more sleepy in Atlantis? Oh, what puppycock. Fortunately, I created a memory aid just so that I'd remember the location of the secret crypt. Uh-oh. Someone tidied up the shelf. That's where the objects for my three E's should be. Emotion. And now I can't... Um, oh. Can't make a... Now let's...
It was the old man. If Lily wanted him to help her, she had to find the right op an emotion, an engagement. It was the old if Lily an emotion. It was the old if Lily an emotion. Hmm? Do we? Uh-huh. Uh. No, no, I haven't. On the contrary, this is all I need. The first E, it tells me whether I was sad. The second E stands, it reminds me of whether I overcame the situation with strength, heroic courage, or sleepiness. The third E stands for eating, to remember I have to know which fruit I ate that day. Vitamins are good for the... Uh, for the... Uh. Did I tell you? I don't. All I need are three or more pres... Does that... Uh. What's the ma... Did you... Here's a, the f... It tells me what the... It, the two rem... Uh. An instructive story about unfortunately my if I only but right now all I can remember are a few vague associate four to be present coconuts were always good at preventing sleepiness hmm? as everyone knows each different food creates exactly one emotion and promotes one character. For example, I was never sad if I'd packed a few apples, because they always helped me be very strong. I could only do heroic deeds on days when I wasn't sad. On the other hand, if I was angry, I could never show great strength. On this one specific day when I was helping the Templars, I was neither happy about an apple, nor angry about a banana. But I also wasn't sad about a banana, or happy about a coconut. Once again, only Mother Superior. Stop that! I need that as a template! Don't! D unless you- I need the- An animal that embodies him. What's that supposed to be? An animal motif? Uh-huh. No animal motif looks like that! Animal motifs? are always on a pedestal. Don't you know anything? Lily was worried. As clumsy as she tended to be, she, Lily Roof... Um, don't even bother. Unlike you, you don't get to be Mother Superior's favorite by just like you. I work hard to get all those. The only thing I'm missing on my path to perfection is the Golden Girl Scouts badge on a ribbon. That's why I'm working overtime to perfect my Mother Superior loves because the pictures of animals convey imp- But you wouldn't know anything about that. You've always- And everything else for that matter. Uh, why don't you get to the point already? You seem to be lacking a few important lessons in that. Haven't you learned anything at all from my multi-award? Each animal has an assigned carrot. Bears represent strength, and deer stand for heroic valor. There are negative role models, too, of course. The porcupine, for example, is especially slow and sleepy. That's why you'll never find one on one of my banners. But maybe it's in your family's coat of arms. Um, in case you're wondering what I it's called, 
Imp uh, I know it's not your area of specialty. Uh, what a shame. I know how much you've always enjoyed it. Lily had to admit that Birgit was her productive friend was really much more talented. But that was certainly no reason for neither a disease with an oozing rash, nor a disease that causes her to... Be quiet now. I just had a great idea for what I could put on the missing cafeteria banner. Damn, it thanks a lot. If you want help, ask Mother Superior about a suitable animal role model. I'm already done with all my... And remember, at this time of day... So don't wander into her office. We're not supposed to go in... And hurry up! My huh? If you carry on like this, I'll never... The Golden Girl Scout's badge. Oh, yes. Oh. Take your little boo-boos. I'm not her dad. <laughs> I'm already her favorite. A note was pinned on the receipt holder. Dear, crossed out, Ms. Zimmelback, I have to say I'm very surprised by the way you fulfilled my request to send me a pet for my student's classroom. I had a real animal in mind, one that conveyed important values, like a puma or a boa constrictor. But the guinea pig you sent is useless to me. I've pickled it in alcohol, to save it, for send me a proper animal immediately, or regardless, my Lily was worried about her. As clumsy as she tended to be, Lily ruefully thought about the debacle. Lily had a fabulous idea. She g Lily didn't think that Lumpy would eat it. Lily didn't think that Lumpy. Lily didn't want to spoil her nice friendship with the flower. Plants were the only things that still listened to her. Lily didn't want his plans with... 